scared. <laughs> We're cutting our first window opening and we bought this little attachment and it bolts to your blade bar, your saw bar. So what we've done, we've got our width marked on the wall and just leveled up. And we pretty well got this to the where we want it. And so I'm gonna saw it down through this and hope it's straight. It was level when we started, so you guys watch. I just hope my blade goes all the way through. Yeah, it's going. Do you need a ladder? Huh? Do you need a ladder? It'd probably help. I like falling off ladders. <laughs> I don't like it. I've done it a few times. Well, my blade wasn't quite long enough. I should have got my bigger saw, but that's okay. It's just barely, I'll come from the outside and touch it. Hey, that saw that scared me. <laughs> I slid on that before. All right. I like it. Looks good. So, you know, we have to line up the next one with that too, won't we? With this, yeah. Yeah. Let's put a mark maybe right here. Yeah, where we'll your just, board went. Yeah, we, we can put it right back where it was. Okay. I like it. All right. Now we got to flop this over and do the other side.
down to the, close to the right lane. Hmm. They're so heavy. Yeah, they are heavy. Trust me, I know. Let's see the wood. Look at that. They're not heavy at all. <laughs> Look at these. Huh? Look how pretty that is. Huh? I just planed those. Oh yeah. I'll just take a light sanding. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. That'd be the one to seal. It's gonna be nice. Oh, there. Pretty wood, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I think I'm like pretty. Pretty, pretty. I love the knots in it, too. But that's awful pretty rich. Right? Mm -hmm. Not too many knots. I wish I had some solvers. Is that big of a board? I thought of building some. Only three, three knots on the whole board. Yeah. Well, we're building all our window seals, our window frames, and we cut all this on our mill. Boy, is it nice. Hey, uh, can you take a break? Do you have a little deal to move that stopper? It's in the way, and I don't want to have to move the log because then it'll mess up my board. You are a lot of trouble. Huh? <laughs> but I love well, you. I, yep. No, I'll go get that. Let you do it if you want. Nope. Let me go get the element. I'll be back. Start. Another one. This thing's. We cut it from 13 feet. And I think it's 18 inches wide, 17 inches wide, something like that. Way better than buying the wood. Way. Would you like to see the chips come out of there? <laughs> I think she likes doing this because it makes her feel powerful. Which she is. She's got her earmuffs on, and safety glasses. She wears it all. All right, I'm gonna go back up here and show you some of the wood she cut for me for my window uh, trim. Actually, it's a window casing, and then we put trim around it. We're gonna make three inch trim to go around all this. Yeah, but I'm just sanding this right here. But these are 12 and a half inches wide for our window seal. Boy, is it pretty wood. I mean, look at this. I got it smooth as could be. Well, I got to round my corners off. This is for another window. You can see how I put my angle iron on here. I've got it dead center. And then I'll go up and saw the crack or the opening in my logs up there. And that's so when the logs shrink, this here, that log just slides down this instead of busting the window. And of course, up top of your window, you wanna put five to six inch opening in the log that's up here. So when them logs sink, it won't crush crush all this. Cause they are gonna, they are going to uh, dry out and shrink. Anyway, there we go. I'm gonna finish doing this. Boys, you big boy toys. 
Had to get his big saw. The other one didn't have enough power. And the blade wasn't deep enough. Don't cut your high dollar cord. I do this as safe as I can. Get your plastic deal and do that right there on each log. Oh my goodness. Did you do the bottom one? Trying to. Oh. <laughs> I don't think this is deep enough. Yeah, it is. Went out to the garden this morning and the sugar snap peas are ready to be picked. We had a good rain and storm last night, so everything's really wet. These guys are 
loaded up pretty good. My tomatoes are coming along nice and the peppers. Everything really greened up after the rain. But here's my regular potatoes. I got purple ones and also the Yukon Golds. Other green stuff right there is our muscadines. We didn't get them trimmed back this year, so we'll see how that goes. You're supposed to trim them in the winter time, and we didn't get it done because we was working on the cabin. So we'll see how that works. Lots of peppers and tomatoes. More peppers and tomatoes. And garlic. Another muscadine. It's a different kind. It has little tiny muscadines with no seeds. And then this is a hardy kiwi. It has little tiny kiwis on it. The flowers are beautiful. They look like little orchids. They're really pretty. Haven't ever got any kiwis off of it because the birds always eat them. And I can't really put a net over it because I have a cardinal nest right there and another bird nest over here. Don't know what it is. I haven't seen the mama yet. I got a pretty good amount of peas for the first picking. These are the sugar snap peas. They're really nice and they get nice and fat like that. You don't have to shell the peas out. You just eat the whole thing. So you get a lot more bang for your buck. Not nearly as much work as shelling peas. And they're really crispy and sweet. We like to eat them raw, but you can also use them in stir fry or dip, dip them in dip. Anyway, they're a nice little plant to grow in the spring. We're out doing another window. Let me show you what I've done so far. See if I can move it slow so I don't freak your eyes out got that one framed in just sitting there <laughs> got that one done that's where it's going to be over the uh claw foot tub sitting down here on the floor so it's coming along and now i got this one we got a double window right there got my line cut cut for my we're using angle iron we decided to use and everything. That's working pretty good. I don't have my base down yet, but let me show you. Got that in there. So as you see, we're cutting these out. I gotta take these out with my little uh, fine tool. My, my blade didn't quite go deep enough on it. And uh, then we'll use a three inch trim we're using here. Be three inches wide, about two inches thick. We'll do the same thing over there. And we've got a two thirty and a quarter inch windows, and then I'll have two, I'll have four inches between them, and we'll just trim that out. Anyway working pretty good. So let me show you how we're doing this. That makes a nice clean cut. My trim will fit right against that really good. So anyway, I got this one to, and that one, to, and then we're going to go back and get our 35 footers. They start going down. And then our gable ends, we're getting excited. 
I can't wait to get a roof on this thing. We're getting closer. Check everything. Yeah. My daddy always told me measure twice, cut once. Yep. Perfect. Alright. Just cut that out of there. downhill. I put a degree downhill to the outside so if water hits this it'll just run right off. That's pretty good. I'm gonna sand that just a little bit more. Here let me show you what that's gonna look like. Put all this on there. Look at that. I love it when a plan comes together. If you've never done this, that's what this is in there for. You don't screw this to your logs. You just 
screw this together and that keeps it from falling out. That's how you keep your window in there. But anyway, there we go. I'm gonna hit the other one and see what I can do with it. I got them too level with my chainsaw. You know, I could probably take my chainsaw and angle those way faster. That's what I did over there. Trying to bevel this down like a degree to where when my bottom seal plate, the window plate, it's gonna level out, go like this, and the rain hits it, it'll run off instead of coming underneath the underneath the window. That's pretty good. Now if I just follow that back. I like it. I hold the a little faster. Cashew chicken, Thai cashew chicken. Yummy. Painted spot, and I thought he was gonna go all the way in. <laughs> it's just water's up. Oh my goodness, there's a big drop off there, that's why I couldn't get going. 